Jackson here at Song Mentor, and today's rockin' selection is Bad Fingers, Baby Blue. Well, the buzz on this song is amazing since Vince Gilligan made the decision to use it as the final musical piece in the puzzle that we knew as, as Breaking Bad. And Breaking Bad's a show that was enjoyed and viewed by, by gazillions of people around the world. So what has happened is it's led to a resurgence in the popularity of the song Baby Blue. Bad Finger recorded it in 1972, and it was really the fourth in a series of uh, really cool hit singles that they had. Um, if you want it, here it is, come and get it. No matter what you are. And Day After Day were all other examples of their amazing work. Here's 1972 and from 2013 Breaking Bad. Bad Finger, Baby Blue. I'd be willing to bet that that opening line, Guess I Got What I Deserved, had an awful lot to do with why Vince Gilligan chose this song for the uh, final episode of Breaking Bad. Um, not only that reference, but of course the reference to Blue throughout the song and throughout the show. Okay, let's talk about the chords we need for Baby Blue. And the first chord you need is a power B chord. Power B bar chord played at the second fret. So I'm barring the second fret with my index finger barring the A formation with my third finger, like so. And that's a, a B bar chord. And now, with my pinky finger, I add it to the fifth fret of the second string, and I have a B sus, power B sus chord. So I need both the B and the B sus. I also need an F sharp bar chord. I need an open E chord. I need an open A chord. Later in the song, during the guitar solo, I'm going to need some bar chords in these formations. I need a D bar chord at the 5th fret, an A bar chord at the 5th fret, an E bar chord at the 7th fret, and a B bar chord at the 7th fret, as opposed to the the B bar chord I played down here. I also need a C sharp minor chord. And then by removing my pinky finger from that chord, I also need and get a C sharp minor 7 chord. Later in the song, I'll need an E flat minor chord, or D sharp minor if you like. And then finally, I need an E chord, not in this formation, but in this formation here, which is just a, a D chord moved up two frets, but I'm making it by barring the fourth fret there and adding my second finger to the fifth fret of the second string. And it's just those three notes. And I'm going to need that. I'm going to play around with that a little bit later in the song. I think I have them all. Those are the chords you need for Baby Blue. Right, let's talk about the intro, which will qualify as saying the intro is everything that's played up till the, the first vocal bit. And uh, so we're going to start with that B bar chord. And for this one, I'm going to bar the second fret. I'm going to use my third finger to bar the A chord, uh, a slid up A chord. So it's going to bar across the fourth, third, and second strings at the fourth fret. And then my pinky is going to go on and off the fifth fret of the second string. Okay, so my first pick down is just on strings five and four, and then four, three, and two, and five and four again, and then four, three, and two again with the, the pinky finger. So it's... Then the arpeggio. So walk with me on this, and I'm never really using the ring finger uh, in this arpeggio at all. It's the first finger, the second finger, and the pinky finger. So walk with me. It's starting on the fifth string, second fret. Two, four, one, four, two. So 
just putting those two parts of the intro together. Alright, the next thing to walk through is how to play through a verse. And we're going to start with a nice ringing uh, F sharp bar chord. Yes, I got what I deserved. Nice ringing open E chord. And then this next part's a little bit tricky because we've got to get up to a bar of the fourth fret. And then we're going to play this little additional arpeggio, which is a little bit tricky. Okay, so the notes I'm going to grab here, uh, my pinky is going to grab the 7th fret of the 5th string, and my ring finger is going to grab the 6th fret of the 4th string. And the picking motion here is down. So I'm down on 5, down on 4, up on 3, and down on 5. play, the only note I'm going to finger for the second half of that arpeggio is I'm just going to move my third finger, my ring finger, to the sixth fret of the fifth string and get my pinky out of the, out of the mix here. Same picking pattern, down, down, up, down. So it's... And you're going to have to practice this one a few times. Uh, getting from the open E to that bar and get those fingers in place is going to take some practice. It's a little, it's probably the trickiest part of this song. After the arpeggio, it's open A, open E, B bar chord, alright now the second half of the verse uh, ends quite differently, there's a lot more to it. Uh, but it begins with that same cycle, so it goes through. Um, All that time without a word. Let me go to the arpeggio again. play that same arpeggio, this one, but up one string and up two frets. It's the same one, but um, the fingering is I'm starting on the fourth fret of the fourth string. Go four, six, three, six, four, three, six, four. It's exactly the same as what we did down here. We're just, again, we're up one string and up two frets. And that takes us to the C-sharp minor. The special love I had for you. Now this ends quite, this is the other tricky part of the song, because we've got kind of a little climb here. My baby. Let me show you that little climb up here. We're starting with the open E chord and we're picking up on the open first string, down on two, down on three, and then we're sliding up to that other E formation I showed you in the chord section. Sliding up to that same picking pattern, up, down, down, and then the final one is just adding the pinky to the seventh fret. So it's... My baby blue Yes, I got what I need. 
section of Baby Blue and it begins with a five chord sequence that starts with that E flat minor bar chord. And then back up and it repeats. All right, let's go through that progression. It begins with that E flat minor chord, four strums. The next chord I didn't give you in the chord section, but I form it by putting my index finger across the fourth fret at the, of the fourth, three, and two strings, and then my third finger goes to the sixth fret of the fourth string. And I'm just strumming four, three, and two here. That's the second chord. The third chord, I just uh, move down one fret on the fourth string. So it's, instead of my third finger being on the sixth fret, it's my second finger on the fifth fret. So the first three again are. The fourth chord is the C sharp minor. And the fifth chord is the C sharp minor seven. Okay, so that sequence again. And then it goes into that. And then it repeats. Here's where it goes into the, the four chord pattern that, that is played during the guitar solo. And those are those bar chords I showed you earlier. The rhythm changes a little bit. It's like this. So let's do a playthrough of the bridge. solo and we're going to start with our third finger on the ninth fret of the third string we're going to bend up like that three times and end up on seven with our first finger and then we're going to go down to six and then up to ten on the second string so it's and that's the first little section of it. Then we slide down, kind of a hammer down from seven to five on the second string. So 
This time we're bending at 7 on the second string and our landing note is 5. And then at the end of it we're bending the 6th fret of the 3rd string so it's... That's quite a strong bend on the 3rd string there. We're bending that a full bend all the way up. So putting those first two pieces together And now for the last um, half of the solo, we head up to the 13th fret of the, of the third string, and we do kind of a partial bend. It's not as full as the, as the, uh, the bends we were doing down lower. So we start out on 13, and land on 11, and then we go down to 9. We've got this little note progression here and it goes from 9 on the 3rd string, 10 on the 2nd string, 9 on the 1st string, 12 on the 1st string. So the second half again. And we finish the guitar solo way up here on the 19th fret. So we're going to use that same uh, little bending sequence. We're going to bend 19, land on 17, and then the final note of the solo is the 19th fret of the first string. So the second half together would be like this. Here's the ending of Baby Blue, and it picks up off this B chord at the end of the final verse. My Dixie dear. So all we're doing there is picking through those chords, and it's twice through the B. through the C-sharp minor, once through the A, once through the A, once through the E, and then finishes on the B. The only uh, thing to note there is that we're picking through strings 5 to 2 on all the chords except the E chord, where we start on the 6th string to get that E note in. So once again... fine-tuning for Baby Blue. Well, a really melodic song with some interesting chord changes, uh, a really cool bridge, and a very tight little guitar solo. I don't know if Heisenberg would have had time for music, but Walt White would have loved it. We'll see you next time on Songmetric.